Overseas now to the Middle East, where the U.S. is setting up an advanced missile defense system in Israel and pressuring Israel to increase humanitarian aid to Gaza. ABC's foreign correspondent James Longman has the latest. As American troops and powerful missile defense systems begin to arrive in Israel, the Biden administration is threatening to pull future weapons funding if Israel does not boost humanitarian aid to Gaza and protect civilians. The level of humanitarian assistance has not been sustained. In fact, it has fallen by over 50 percent. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin co-signed a private letter to Israeli officials giving them a 30-day deadline to improve and maintain an increased supply of aid and end the isolation of northern Gaza. Threatening failure to do so would put Israel in violation of U.S. law and could impact future military assistance. We continue to see Israel not taking sufficient steps to address civilian harm and you have to look no further than the really horrific results over the weekend. Those horrific results, this deadly strike on Al-Aqsa Hospital, where medics say thousands were sheltering. Terror as massive fires swept through this tent camp. The IDF says their target was Hamas militants hiding among civilians, but they've provided no evidence of this. And in northern Gaza, aid agencies say civilians are being deliberately starved out, cut off from food for two weeks, as increasing military offensives and evacuation orders leave the hundreds of thousands living there with few options. And the State Department has said they don't want Israel to wait 30 days to make a change for civilians in Gaza. They say they want to see that change, quote, immediately. James Longman, ABC News, in Beirut.